Okay, so I thought I'd just share with you something that I um, have put together for mounting my GoPro to my helmet. So this is the helmet that I use for my recording. Um, it's my old older helmet. Uh, it's gloss black, so it's pretty good when I'm not attaching a camera to it. You can't really see the mounts. But what I did was I tried to mount on top of the helmet, and I found that I got a I didn't like the perspective from up there. It's 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 okay for some things. Um, then I read or watched a video that talked about having the GoPro on the side of the helmet. Um, I didn't really like that. I didn't like the way it felt. I didn't like the footage that I was getting. Um, this is just for a bit of fun for shooting backwards. This actually works really well shooting backwards like that. But what I wanted to do and what I've pretty much figured out is that mounting the GoPro on your chin or on the on the chin of the helmet is really the best way to go. So I was trying to figure out a way to do that and I bought some curved mounts and I looked at them and they didn't really, the curve of the mount didn't really suit the curve of the helmet. Okay, so uh, what I did was I, I was watching a few uh, YouTube videos trying to figure out uh, a solution or to see what um, is out there and there were a couple of things and somebody epoxied uh, amount onto the chin and I didn't really like the idea of you know really putting something that permanent onto the onto the helmet so I was looking at um, there is a, a sort of mount that you get that kind of straps onto the front of the um, of your helmet it kind of looks like a chest mount but with uh, straps that are short enough to go around the front of your helmet and that sort of gave me the idea and I was having a look at what I had and a while ago I bought this this head strap so it's just a standard head strap and I was looking at that going, okay, what if I were to um, figure out some kind of way to attach this, because what I really want is that. Um, and what I did was kind of based on that strap design that I saw, I took this strap on, on wrapped it onto there and then I took this you know you quite easy to unattach that part from there wrap that around there hopefully you can see all of that hooked that onto there yeah. and came up with something like that but what I felt was that there was still a bit too much room for movement so what I wanted to do was get some velcro and really be able to make this really be able to strap around there a bit more firmly and I came downstairs and I was looking for some Velcro because I've got some in a box somewhere. And I remember that I have this stuff that I bought when I was at the hardware store that I just bought and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And it's this um, 3M kind of Velcro stuff that, um, and I've got some glued onto some bits here. And it's two parts that kind of click together like that, and they're both the same. It's not like normal Velcro where you've got the, the fuzzy stuff and the stuff with the hooks on it. It um, just clicks together like that. And it's designed for being able to stick, sort of stick your tools up. You know, you put a bit on your on a hammer and then you can st just stick that hammer up on your, on your, um, in your workshops, hang it up somewhere. So what I did was I, I looked at that and went, well, the, the curve of this part of the helmet mount is actually very similar to the curve of the front of my helmet. So what I did was I actually cut these straps and these these ones have a kind of a little some of them have a little hook thing but some of these ones don't okay and that curvature matches up with the curvature of my helmet really nicely and you can clip that on there like that you know leave it for 24 hours or whatever once it's on there it's uh it's actually pretty well on there and you don't have any noticeable side to side movement okay it's really really solid so that allows you um to mount depending on which way you need to mount your camera for me i need to sort of point it um, upwards because of my riding position and I would imagine that if you're riding like a, a real, like I ride a sports tourer, if you're riding a sports bike, you'd really need to have it kind of. 
So when I write, it's rarely, the, uh, because your head's actually tilted that way, I set the camera about there. But obviously you could check that on your, um, on your phone to make sure that you've got the angle right. Tighten it up really well. And then you can take the camera off, put it in your bag, and then when you're ready to, to do some filming, you just pull it out of your pocket or out of your bag. Take your helmet off if you want to. Line it up, turn the camera on, hit record, and you're ready to go. So I was riding along and I was really worried about um, the camera falling off and if it were to fall off, it would be gone forever. And I've actually almost lost this camera a few times, but thanks to uh, floaty back doors and tethers and things like that, I've managed to hang on to it. I've had this camera for about five years. Um, and I went back to this head strap part and I've actually got some... Um, some normal Velcro that you can kind of stick on. Uh, and then I figured because this is gonna be stretching, it's just gonna unstick. So I actually got the sewing machine out and I sewed those uh, bits on. So that allows me now to, and I'll just quickly disassemble it. Hopefully you can see all of this. We take this take this head mount it's going to be upside down. Feed it back through. So we've got a little bit of Velcro there and a little bit of the other part of normal Velcro there. Say normal as opposed to this heavy duty stuff that I got at the hardware store. It's made by 3M. I'm sure there are other companies that make similar stuff, but let's see if I can find a link for it posted below. So now what I've got is an interchangeable thing, and that's what I always try and do, is have my um, stuff that I put together to be interchangeable between all my different, I use an Osmo as well. So, and that's got a really, it really clicks in solidly. So this is really kind of a worst case scenario kind of thing. I'm not really that concerned about it coming off, but it'd be really annoying if you had some really good footage and you did for some reason, maybe, you know, go over a bit of a bump so the idea is that that's as well as that kind of just holding on in there a little bit more firmly if for some strange reason the camera were to come off Hopefully you can still hear this. If the camera were to, for some reason, come off, it's going to come off and, and stay on your body, all right? And then you'll be able to st st pull over and or even if while you're riding, you could probably just stick it back on and just riding along, two hands off the wheel. No, you wouldn't. You pull over and um, reset, but you're not going to lose your camera. Set that all up. And the good thing is it's pretty inconspicuous. And when you're not using, when you haven't got your GoPro mounted on there and you take everything off, it's not really that noticeable. All right, hope you enjoyed. Good luck.